Hello again, I seek training and I'm Richard and this is Canned Workouts. Uh, thank you very much for coming. Uh, hopefully this live stream is going to work. Uh, we have been having problems, uh, particularly with using my computer to try and stream it uh, because I can then see everything on here. If we have live stream problems, I will be uploading it to YouTube and posting a link on Facebook so you can use it whenever you wish. So hopefully we'll get that sorted out. I don't want to be going back to using just the phone because it it's not great. There are other avenues of uh, to explore at the moment to try and get this stream working better. Uh, I am actually watching it here at the moment and uh, hopefully... Hi Marion! Excellent. So I can see myself moving on Facebook. We do have some frame drops so it might be a bit stuttery but the recording works perfectly and the recording after we finish the stream on Facebook is perfect. It's just whilst we're streaming directly onto the internet, we're having a bit of problems. So, <coughs> right, so today we're going to need dumbbells, a mat, some water, Alternately, you can use on one exercise or a few other ones, depending if you want, a band. And if you've got balance issues or anything else that uh, you need to sit down instead of doing mat work, there's always a chair. So I'm going to put that there. Excellent. So anything else we need to actually discuss? Uh, I hope everyone's had a nice Easter weekend. Uh, this is, uh, as per usual, Easter Monday. It's gone cold again. So we're just going to enjoy ourselves uh, a few couple of minutes whilst people are actually coming in. Hi hey everyone! <coughs> so again, if the live stream doesn't work, it will be recorded and then uploaded onto YouTube and then put back onto Facebook. If anyone has any questions, I can actually see them here. I don't have to actually go forward to read it. Uh, any kind of questions at the moment? Uh, Really, we're just actually trying to work for our mental health at the moment and keep ourselves going. So we don't have to use heavy weights, we don't have to go hard. I have been asked by a friend to do a uh, video directly for her and uh, she was going to put it on her website, which is really, really good. It's good news. Once I've got confirmation of that, I will be releasing details later on. Excellent, good. Looks like things are working nicely. So what we're gonna do is, we're going to start, we we'll, may as well start straight away. How's the music? Music all right? It's a bit jazzy at the moment. Right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with the warm up. Right, so I'm marching on the spot. A bit jazzy. I might turn it up a little bit. It's a bit low. If it gets too high, just tell me. Excellent. Let's get those uh, Monday blues out the window. Also, if if this doesn't work like this, what I can always do is I can always record them previously and then broadcast them at the time uh, of this class. So it won't be live, but it'll still be there. Let's do the wide knees. As it try and pick your knees up. Brilliant. Those fingers. Get those hands going. Unless you've got arthritic hands, then don't do it. I'm moving my mat, so. Excellent, good. We're going to do reach overs now. Turn that hip out at the back. You can notice the foot. people in now. It's 
loud. Right, okay, I'll turn it down. Sorry, there is a long delay. I've got to try and figure out how to actually reduce the delay. There may be ways, but not too sure as of yet. It's all new. By the time I've sorted out, lockdown will be over and we'll, we won't be doing these anymore. Right, let's reach across, work that back out. Right, let's bring elbow to knee now. Get those hips working as well. Oh, I got loud and quiet now. <laughs> okay. I, what I'll do is, in, if I find it in post, if it's too quiet, I'll see if I can try and hire it up. There is ways of doing it. It takes a while though. Brilliant. Right, we're going to do some torso twist now. So arms up, twist to the side, trying to keep your hips nice and still. Don't go too far, because if you've got a bad back, well, sorry, if you've got osteoporosis or osteopenia, you don't want to be twisting too rigorously, uh, or even actually with dysthesis recti, abdominal separations. Let's go back and marching. What we're going to do in this time, we're going to step nicely wide apart, or we're just going to gently touch our toes and up, down, and up. So sit your bottom back and up again. Do that figure of seven. Trying to Hinge at the hips, nice and easy. And lastly, what we're going to do, if you want a bit of stability, grab all stability, we're just going to pull our thigh stretch. Not for long, just to give it a little bit of elasticity. And once you've finished hopping around with the swap legs, I'm just watching the preview of me actually. I'm actually doing the elbows and knees whilst doing this live. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to squat back and we're going to pulse. So stay down, we're just going to pulse up and down for a couple of inches. Again, remember to keep your knees behind your toes and your shoulders over your knees. So if I've got my stick, you put it on your toe, put it on your shoulder, if your knee touches your stick, you're not in the right place. You can do it both sides. Because one knee could be over and one knee might not be. So always check both sides. Five. Three. Two. two one. one. Change. Excellent. Brilliant. Right, we're going to do another one today. Another different one. We're going to do a reverse lunge. So a nice long lunge. We're going to reach down to the floor and come up to a knee rise. Down, knee rise. Bit of a wobbly move maneuver. If you've got balance issues, Three, you can always hold on to something, or you can always just do a nice, nice reverse heart. lunge and back. But I'm gonna go down to the runner's lunge. And up. I'm gonna swap up round halfway through. Oops. Try to look at the clock at the same time as actually doing it is a bit difficult. Changing in three, two, one, and change. Lunging positions, as some of my class no, goes no, bending over like this. Because sometimes lean to a painful backside afterwards. Whoops. Three, two, two, one. 
next hour I'm facing that way, so I'm looking at the clock. Right, so we're going to do some calf raises. So if you need the chair again, you can do. Just going to raise up. So we're going to raise up and onto our toes and down again. Up and then down. Three, two, one. Exercise one, two, three. Up and then down. So what we're doing is we're actually exercising the top of your calves, the gastrocnemius. You do bring a bit of the low one in, but not as much. If your feet go into what's called uh, docile flexion, where your toes go up, and the first activation you will be working the lower parts of your calf. A lot more, not just not at all. Keep it working, try not to get cramp. Five seconds. Three, two, two one. one. Change. Excellent, we're going to go to the weights this time. I'm going to do my, one of my favourites, axis three. Shoulder width apart, feet, knees slightly bent, bicep curl, press, extend, down. Bicep curl, three, press, two, extend, and down. Ah, let's go. So if you've got your own dumbbells at home, use those, but try not to go too heavy, especially on this manoeuvre. You don't want to call yourself on the head. Twenty seconds left. Try and keep that back nice and straight, tummy tight to straighten that back. Twelve seconds. Brilliant. By the end of this, you'll all be expert bean cam uh, users. And let's change exercise. Right, we're going to use the cans again. What we're going to do is we're going to do a cross body to lateral lift. One arm, and then you can, we're going to change to the other arm. If, like you ladies, unfortunately your bosoms might get in the way, go slightly diagonally and out. Exercise 1.5. And let's go. So nice. Easy motions. So you're actually feeling your chest contract as you go across the body. Remember, if you've got bosoms, you can cook, could always go out a little bit and then up. As long as it's nice and deliberate, not momentum based. If some of you guys have got bosoms, do the same. Three, two, two one. one. Change. Excellent, good. Right, we're going to do some tricep punch outs. Push out, sorry. So it's elbows up and push out. Elbows up and push out. So keeping nice and still. So see my elbows? They're doing a nice one line. If you want to use a band, two, one. Exercise one point six. you can use a band instead. Ah, let's get going. These, these change times seem to be a little bit faster. I wonder if someone's been changing in the house. The Easter Bunny, maybe. So I'm going to change now to the dumbbells. So a bit easy with the dumbbells, but you're also working your shoulders at the same time. Because you've got extra weight to hold on to. Brilliant. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Right. Change. You can use a band for this as well. If you put it underneath one foot, uppercut, and then you, we're going to do uppercuts. Otherwise, we're just going to do a naked version of it called naked uh, speed uppercuts. I'll show you first without the band, and then next time through, I'll put the band on. If I remember, if I don't, give it a shout. Ah, let's go. Try not to smack yourself in the face. Try and get those elbows back. Really get the punch going. Try and get yourself a little bit of a bob as well. I find that helps. Good exercise for children as well, this. Have a, let, have a play. As long as they're not punching each other. Seven seconds. Two, 
Water break. And water break. <coughs> Hope everyone's all right and everyone's fine. Everyone's nice and safe. I hope their mats aren't going skew with like mine. Right. So we've got a mint left. So how was those exercises for you? Hopefully they're all right. The, uh, the core ones after we've done the next two rounds, I'll quickly go through them. Uh, I'll give you some variants as well because some of them are quite difficult. So it's always good to have variants just in case. Try and always go for the main one unless you know that you cannot do it due to some medical reason or postural deviation. So we're going to go back to pulsing squats in 30 seconds. So it's shoulder width apart, knees following toes, bottom bike, down as far as you can, if you can go really low, that's actually taking the pressure off it, so try and go a little bit higher. And I always find that works better than going low in a squat. Because a lot of people say, if you skin's turn a phrase, ass to grass. But on a pulsing one, you don't want to be that low. Two. And let's go. Exercise 2.1. Also, there's some, there's some not very endearing turns, really. So I'm looking directly forward towards the ground, about six foot in front of me. You can keep your hands out there to keep balance, or if you want to be a little bit more adventurous, put your hand behind your back, and you really got to try and figure out where your centre of gravity is. It's a lot harder. 15 seconds. Or you could do that way. Or you could be interesting and do this. Really change your centre of gravity. Three, Three two, two, one. one change. And change. Oh, I'm feeling that now. Good. Right, so runs lunge to knee rise. I'm going to turn this way so I can watch the clock so I don't have to turn and lose my balance. And I move that out of the way so I can see the screen. So remember, Three, it's two, down one. and knee up. Exercise 2.2. .2. Down. Knee up. Try and keep that knee as still as possible. It's all about working your thigh and your glutes and your balance and change legs. I always find changing legs really throws my balance off. If you've got a ear ear infection, you will find that changing Three, size two, do actually do that to you. Change. And change, excellent. Calf raises. So if you want to work different parts of your calf, you can do it close together. Stability is really hard, Three, but you work more two, of the outside. One. You do it a bit further out. You work more of this slap on the inside there. So you can actually shape your calves. So if you want to wear those stockings, make people go whip woo, especially for the blocks, you can always change up. You can do 10 seconds there, 10 seconds there. And then the last 10 seconds, together. If you're anything like me, warming up your toes is two, paramount because I've got arthritis change. in both big toes. Now let's change, let's go back to the weights and go to axis three. When I created this, I thought axis, because there's one axis, two axis, three, three axis. But then I, all I can think of now Exercise is Germany, Italy, and Japan, unfortunately. As in Axis and Allies. And uh, let's, let's go. But let's go back to the Axis. You know, the, the, the Car uh, Cartesian coordinate system would be a lot of, uh, better way of actually thinking about this. And now I'm just rambling just to get myself out of a great big hole I've just dug. 
No change there. Ten seconds. Three, two, two one. one. Change. And change. So the tricep push out or pull out with the band. Freezing in every ten seconds. Yes. It's going through a latency period. I've got 63% drop rate. Just try your best, Marion. I'm sorry about that. Three, I'm two, really trying to figure it out. So you can use a band to push it out. Remember to keep those elbows in line with your shoulders. If I had that stick and put it through my t-shirt, basically it shouldn't be moving. So again from the side, nicely straight up. I am yet, I've just checked. And I'll go back to the dumbbells. If you want a harder one with the dumbbells, you can always get into a half squat position and go back out, like almost like a reverse fly. Three, two, one, change. You've got to be careful with that. You don't want to get yourself too dizzy. Right. Naked uppercut speed, uh, speed uppercut. I'm going to use the band this time. You will find that it actually really works your biceps with the band. Three, two, one. Ah, Exercise right. Exercise 2.6. Won't be a second, this might be a bit loud. Girls, off the TV! Just realised, they're on the telly. So this is a lot harder, but remember to change your feet depending on which set you're doing because one will be working a lot harder. I'm just going to have to disappear in a second just to tell the girls to get off the TV. Five, three, three two, two, one. Especially when using the band, keep your tummy tight because you don't want to round the shoulders because that's what you'd be encouraged to do because your back's the weakest part of that. Good, she's off. She's a good girl. Right, so. Three, two, one. Ah. Exercise 2.7. Oh, cross body lateral raise. I forgot about that. So, cross body to lateral raise. Sorry about that again. I'm trying to figure these things out. It's a, it is a teething process. Rome wasn't built in a day. If it was, I'd like to get the builders in. 10 seconds. Five. Three. Two. two one. one. Water break. Brilliant, and water break. Sorry about missing that one out. Concentrating more on the string than anything else. Not a professional, professional of me, sorry about that. Uh, oh yes. Down. There, I keep pointing at the wrong place. You'll notice it says optional. I'm going to start putting those net there now. So if you, if there's optional equipment for you to use, you can always have a look down there. Hopefully, you can see it. How is it, Marion? Is, is it is the stream any better? I know you won't get this for about 45 seconds. So last time through, need to try and figure out how to get this better. Right, pulsing squats for the last time in 22 seconds. Do, do, do. Let's have a quick dance beforehand. Keep on moving, never stop. So you, when you're having a water break, so you don't cool down too much, so you, your muscles are still being a lot more pliable than normal. Right, we're ready? Three, two, In the one. top position, and let's pull. So people who find this difficult, especially in the knees, try and get your bottom back a bit. If you're a bit scared, put a chair underneath. So you're bouncing off the chair, but you're not really plunking and then up again. It's just as you touch, you're coming up again. 
Once you've got used to that, you can always get a lower chair. And then after that, you can remove it. But the problem with the chair is, you want to go on your heels, rock on your heels, try not to. Try and keep on the toes as well. And work it that way. Three, two, one, change. Excellent, let's change the runner's lunge to knee rise. Bit of a hobbling around the kitchen of the bedrooms. Audio, by the way, is, it, is that choppy or is it just the video? It doesn't help that I've only got 0.9 megabits upload speed, which is absolutely terrible for streaming. That's because we live in Barn Oswick. I change legs. Now, if I was using like 4G, if I could get 4G inside the house, it'd be a lot better. But that would mean going back to the phone. Oh, three, two, two, one. Oh, one oh, my mats are falling apart. Sorry about this. Thing with live TV, always problems. Right, car phrases. Three, two, one. And up, 3 .3. and then down. Oh, Bali's coming back. In, out. You could learn this, to, uh, use this for breathing. Breathe in, tummy out. Tummy in, breathe out. In, out. In, out. 15 seconds. Just looking at a tiny little thumbnail of what you are seeing now and thinking, what am I doing? Two, one, change. Right, I'm doing the uh, speed uppercuts. So we're quite far in the past now. Right, so we're going to get axis three. Do you not actually see the end of this when I actually three, stop the transmission? Two, does it keep on going? So we have a bicep curl, press, extend. Could that be an interesting one? Because I must admit, on the video playthroughs, it's still there, but on the live stream, is it? Because it's a live stream which tends looks to be more problematic. So with these, try and keep your shoulders as neutral as possible, especially with your hands. Allow them to go naturally where they want. So as you go down, your palms face forward, and as you go up, your palms should face uh, together. Because that's more natural for your arms. Two, one, change. Brilliant. Right, cross body lateral raises. I remember this time because I looked. So remember, go across and out. Go across and out. If you wanted to use the band, you could put it underneath one foot. Three, and do one side two, at a time. One. And let's go. Five. No, but it is nice that I've actually been asked by a good friend of mine to actually put uh, something on their website. Once that's up, I will be telling the community. And I'd like to thank uh, Debbie for that. Very nice of her. I'm trying to figure out how to uh, how to do the best video possible for her. I want to Three, get as much two, information in there, but not too much. Change. And change. Oh, right, we need these again. Sorry for tricep pull outs, push outs. So remember, if you were to go out, you can use the band. Don't throw your arms out. You don't want to be damaging your shoulder. Uh, your your shoulder, your elbows, or you can One. bend over Exercise and do it that way if you want a little bit more resistance on your triceps. This will work more the shoulders as well as the triceps. Right, no more messages, that's, that's well hopefully that's good.
Brilliant. Doing good. I can see you all. You're doing well. Now, if we had Zoom, that would be funny. Watching everyone be able to do it at home. Three, two, two one, change. and rest. Right, so we've got the last one now. We've got the naked speed uppercuts. I'm going to use the band again, but this time I'm going to do it under the other foot because if you notice, that one's longer, that one's shorter. Three, two, one. Exercise 3.7. So you'll find that the shorter one is harder to use than the longer one. That's why you swap over. And that's why, so most of the time, when we do three, we do one leg, the other leg, and then both legs in it. So we'll be like that. Almost like you're trying to do cross country skiing. Twelve seconds. Now it's three, sorry. Two, one. A little bit preemptive there. And a water break. So I'm now going to go over the uh, core section. We're going to do eight of the first one, which is V6. Ten of each side of the side knee rise. So some people might need a cushion underneath the hips. And then 20 scissor twists. Okay, so that's both sides. So a V6 is down. Come up, touch your shins and down. Alternately, touch your knees. Okay, that's easy now. If you can't, just do an ab crunch. The next one will be on our side. And we're bringing our knees up, down, up, down. Spin round to the other side. If you want to do one knee this time, you can do. If you don't want to be on the floor, you can do that and then scissor twists alternating arms and leg so one leg up one arm up alternating this you can go elbow to knee or if you don't want to do that or if it's too hard you can always do bicycle crunch okay so pick your poison try and start with one that you can do or one that you think you can do and then regress from there Three. Or progress if you find it's too easy. So I'm going to go for V6. Three times three. And let's go. So we're going to do eight. One. Two. Oh. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Brilliant. Right. I'm hitting the cat ball there. Am I in the frame? Yes, I am. So we're going to go. Side bend, knee raises, 10 on each side. One, two, three. You can put your hand behind. Four, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is very uncomfortable in your hips. It's on mine, even on mats. That's why I recommended maybe a cushion. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Brilliant, right? We're gonna get down the floor. This is a twist. Hope you can see me. Alternating arm and leg. I'm gonna start with my green green leg and banded arm. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Right, quick breather. Just a few breaths in and out, and then we'll do the V sits again. So remember, if you want to V sit, if you want to regress down to your knees, or if you want to 
Constantine yourself out, you can always lift up. As long as you don't use your back, do not use momentum in this at all. It's all about abdominal strength. So let's get down. We're eight to go. Three, two, one, and one. Two, three, four, five. You're all sitting in the south, aren't you? Six, oops. Seven, eight. Brilliant. If you don't keep up with me, it doesn't matter, just do what you can. So then we're gonna do side, uh, knee side, uh, side knee bends. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Spin it round. I'll give you a couple of seconds because I'm pretty decent on the spin. Should be a politician maybe, shouldn't I? Right, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Brilliant. Scissor twists. Remember alternating from one leg and one arm. Try and keep that back nicely flat on the floor so, you, so you've got a neutral pelvis. And we're going to squeeze with our stomachs. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, 20. Brilliant. Shall we stay down here for a bit? I think it's quite good down here. So, if you're lying on the floor, can stand up to cool down to walk off or you can do what I do lift your feet up it's a hamstring stretch a nice straight leg if you start to crook bring it back down again straighten it up and try and bring it back again only go as far as you can to mild discomfort no pain so what we're doing is we're actually I'm doing the left leg which is my pink one and because uh, the blood runs up to there stops and then comes down so I'm using gravity to assist it. So as my heart rate slows, the blood pumping around my body will also be able to get back to my brain, wherever that is in my body, uh, easier without becoming nauseous or dizzy. Bring your knee into your chest and your hip into your glute. Ignore her, we're already in cool down. See, you work hard, you get to finish quickly. Opposite hand to your knee, on the outside of your thigh. Push it over, keeping your shoulder blades on the ground. People with osteopenia and osteoporosis at the back, just be careful with this. Don't go too far. What we're doing is we're just trying to get a nice stretch around the obliques and also over the glutes. shouldn't be any pain whatsoever. It should just be feel like a, a nice, nice stretch of the back. And back to the centre. And I'm going to swap legs. I should actually be doing the calf stretch, shouldn't I? But I haven't. So I'm not going to do it with this leg. Doing well, that's good. Hope you're all uh, cooling down nicely. Three, two, one, and 
two, one, and pull in. Good. Hope your knees are all right. My knees feel really good today, which is good. Good warm up, good stretch of the muscle beforehand. As you can tell, when we first started, a lot of people say don't do static stretches, and that's true. Unless you've got a bad knee, I would do a five to 10 second stretch just to get it going. But it doesn't mean that you hold it for 30 seconds or a minute, because then the stability of your knee or the joint or whatever is actually put into compromise and you can actually do yourself more injury that way. Opposite hand, outside your thigh, push it over. That's it, good. You've got a very flattering picture of my backside, sorry about that. You got a marker, draw space on it. Three, two, one, and back. Excellent. Now let's get up. Let's do the last stretch now. So we stretch up and over. Over to my over to my red, uh, yellow foot, green foot, whatever foot. Lime and over to the other side. I'm trying to keep nice and straight, not leaning forward, not leaning back. If you do find that you naturally want to lean over or backwards, you know which direction your core is actually strongest because it's actually pulling in that direction. So if you're going forward, you've got a weaker back because your abs are clenching, but your back can't compensate. Same for your back. Back up. And reach for the stars. And three hands down in three, two, one, and release. And thank you very much, everybody. I hope everyone had a good work workout. I did. Apart from the few mistakes and the live stream uh, messing up as per usual. So I am gonna try and Again, work a little bit on it. Hopefully it's better than it was last time, which means that's a step in the positive. I will try and uh, decrease bit rate and everything uh, a little bit more to see if that helps. Yes, because we're, we're at a stable 63% uh, drop of frames, so it will be stuttering. Uh, hopefully, let's get it sorted. Even if I have to make it tiny. Right, so thank you all for coming. I hope you have a good and nice day of time. Keep positive. Keep moving, keep going. And I'll see you all on Wednesday. And on Wednesday, we're going to need a broom handle. You can always take it off a mop. We're not going to be bending them or anything like that. We're just going to be using them just, to, just for stability. Okay? Right. And I'll see you all next time. Thank you all for coming. See you later. Bye for now.